Vatican. In the next few videos, I thought we will talk about a very important gland in males, the prostate gland. Every man who will live over the age of 50 and more will usually suffer from some problem with the prostate gland. So I thought this was a good time as we were talking about kidneys and the bladder, etc. to next talk about the prostate gland. Today, going to very briefly talk about the anatomy of the prostate gland and the functions of the prostate gland. So in this diagram, I've tried drawing the anatomy of the prostate gland. So this red thing over here, which is size of a walnut or a small plum, is the prostate gland. How does it feel? It feels like a rubber ball. So you can press it. You can't completely squish it, but it feels like rubber. So you can push your finger against it and it feels slightly soft. Now, just to explain this diagram, this is the front of the man. This is the bottom of the man. So that's the spine. And this little black thing here with the lines in it is our pubic bone, which is the bone in the front at the bottom. This, these are the external genitals. This is the testicle. This is the urinary bladder. UB where I've written is the urinary bladder. And in the back is the rectum. This is the bottom end where we poo from. And this is the rectum. Now trying to draw all these is very important to understand where all the anatomy lies because that makes a difference from the diagnosis and diseases of the prostate gland. So as you know from my previous video and from your own knowledge, the urinary bladder is the place where all the urine comes from the kidneys up here. Urine will come and collect in the urinary bladder. And when we have a desire to go to the toilet, we'll pass urine out. And this is the tube, which is the urethra, which comes down, goes through this green line I have drawn over here, the muscular line. This is the pelvic floor through which all the structures have to go through to come out. This is a muscular sheet. And the urethra comes down and comes to our external genitals through which the urine is passed. And as you can see from my diagram, the urethra goes through the prostate gland. So prostate gland surrounds the urethra. Why do I emphasize on this? The reason is because as we go further into the next few videos, we will explain the prostate gland when it becomes too large can press the urethra and stops the urine from coming out. The second thing to note in this diagram is the testicle. So this is the testicle through which a tube comes out, which I have drawn in green, goes around, which I have drawn around the urinary bladder and comes and join the prostate gland, goes through the prostate gland and joins the urethra. This tube is a tube from the testicle and obviously it takes the semen from the testicles, goes up this tube, which is the vas deferens and comes down and goes into the urethra. This tube also goes through the prostate gland. There's a little pouch over here, which is called the seminal vesicles and they store the sperm before it is ejaculated. So just to recap, two tubes run through the prostate gland. One is the urethra, which takes the urine from the urinary bladder and takes it out from the penis. The second tube takes the semen from the testicles, goes around, comes to the seminal vesicle where it stores the sperm and then the tube runs through the prostate gland into the urethra. So when the sperm is passed, it goes through the urethra and comes out. Third important thing in this diagram is the rectum. And this is the bottom end, which is the anus. The important thing to see over here that the rectum, this bulge in the rectum, which is called the ampulla of the rectum is very close to the prostate gland. They're almost literally touching. There's a little fascia or little sheet of tissue between the two, otherwise they're literally touching each other. That is why when the doctor wants to feel the prostate gland, they can do a finger examination from the bottom end and can feel the prostate gland. 
and they can tell if the prostate gland is enlarged or it is too hard or irregular or whatever. So this is the main anatomy which we need to know. There is no need to talk about the different parts of the prostate gland today and when we do our future videos about diseases of the prostate gland then we will talk about different zones of the prostate because some diseases of the prostate affect certain zones and other diseases affect certain other zones and that where it becomes important. Today it's not very important to discuss. So what is the function of the prostate gland? The most important function of the prostate gland is to stop the semen from clotting. If the semen clots too quickly, then when it goes into the female counterpart, a clotted semen cannot take the sperm to the egg and the sperms will die within a day or two and they will not reach the egg alive. So to ensure that the sperm can float and they can swim to the egg, it is very important for the semen to be in liquid state. And that liquid state is kept by the prostate gland. So prostate gland secretes an enzyme which is what we call a proteolytic enzyme which means it breaks down proteins and it stops the sperm when it comes through the prostate gland it mixes with this enzyme and stops it from clotting and that is the main function of the prostate gland doesn't sound much but it is the most important function without this function there won't be any babies made if you have any questions about what the anatomy I have shown over here or the function or the main function of the prostate gland which I have discussed today then please write in the comment section I will do my best to answer your questions. In the next few videos we will talk about the diseases of the prostate gland starting from the very common disease called benign prostatic hyperplasia or enlarged prostate. Thank you for watching and until next time I will see you soon. Take care.